with a couple of superstars, as we should, right? That's right. <laughs> you may recognize our first guest today. They are the Oak Ridge Boys, and we love them. They're back in the house. We're here with our good friend, William Lee Golden, and we are thrilled to have Richard Sturban on Local On 2. Welcome, guys. It's great Thank to be you. back with you, Laura. Oh, we love yeah, you. Absolutely. Now, you guys have been touring for 50 years. Um, so what can people expect? What's different with the, uh, with the farewell tour coming up? Well, I think what we'll be doing is uh, going back through our catalog and pulling out some of the most requested songs that we've had through the years and putting them on the show and uh, being able to be out and uh, to thank the people, you know, for supporting us all this time. And, the people that are fans, they're kind of like the Oak Ridge Boys. They've grown up, and uh, it's, we've kind of been handed down to the other generations in the family, and uh, so we kind of feel at home with them, you know, it's some of our close friends, and it's, it'll be an emotional time, really, because uh, we've been doing this for a long time, and uh, 50 years together is an amazing feat for any of us. And, but. Uh, Richard and Joe were the last two to come, and that was in, uh, what, I guess, 72 and 73. 73. Wow. 50 years! Richard, I bet you have some good stories about the, the Oak Ridge Boys, the Oaks. Well, there's no question about it. You know, when you look back over 50 plus years, you wonder, well, first of all, where has the time gone? Mm -hmm. You know, my Lord, have mercy. You know, and so many great things have happened to us. You know, I think at the very top of the list probably comes being inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. That's something that you'll never, ever forget as long as you live. You know, becoming members of the Grand Old Opera, that's also very special. You know, singing for presidents of the United States. So many great things have happened to us. We're very fortunate. And that's why we're looking forward to this farewell tour, so we can go and tell our fans thank you for allowing us to have such a great career. And I love how you guys have also been doing Christmas mm. shows like pretty much every year. And you got one coming up at the Rhyming. Can you talk about that? It's our 34th year of having yeah. Christmas shows, and uh, we try to change it up. I think we've had like seven Christmas albums, seven or eight or something. But uh, and we pulled from all those different albums. We, we're doing a couple of songs from the very first Christmas album, and uh, but we're doing it. We'll be at the uh, Ryman first time that the Oak Ridge Boys have ever done like a concert at the Ryman, and so it'll have a kind of a unique meaning for us. You know, we've been on the Ryman many times as guests on like opera shows and things, and uh, awards and things and events there, but not just the Oak Ridge Boys doing our full concert. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a Christmas show. We'll sing three or four songs that are people know that are not Christmas songs, but uh, Elvira will be able to do, and uh, <laughs> Richard will be doing the Oom um Papa Mau Mau's. And uh, anyhow, it's a, it's a fun show. It's a, from what we hear, Santa Claus is supposed to be there. Oh, and, uh, nice. so, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun, and, and we invite the entire family to come out and see us and bring be a part it, of it. Bringing it like you have the last 50 years. I heard that your mantra was, let's sing. And I want to know what's changed and what's stayed the same with the Oaks the last 50 years? Well, I don't know that a whole lot has changed. We've always loved singing, and even after all these years, we still look forward getting on that stage every night and taking our music live to our fans and to our audiences. That has not changed. And we're so, that's why we're so excited about this farewell tour. So one more time, we can go around the country and do what it is that we love doing the most, you know, getting on stage, singing, and taking our music live to our fans. And, and, and you said kind of in passing, you know, before we were, we were on television here that, you know, you don't know how long the, fair, the farewell tour is going to last. I mean, mm -hmm. in, in hindsight, like kind of a little bit. So what was that deciding factor uh, to choose to do it after all these years? Mm. Well, it might have been some of, you know, some of us are getting a little older, but uh, I think that it was uh, William Morris Agency. They booked the Oak Ridge Boys. And, uh, they had been uh, kind of recommended this last year, and we decided, you know, that we didn't want to, we were involved with this uh, front porch singing tour that we were doing. It's about a title of an album that Dave Cobb produced with the Oak Ridge Boys, and uh, 
Anyhow, we've been doing that up until now, and they announced uh, about six weeks ago that uh, to Billboard magazine that we'd be starting our farewell tour, and so William Morris Agency now is they're starting to book that and putting dates in the book every week. We're looking at, we don't know where they're taking us, but uh, we've asked to be able to go back to all the major areas that we've done well in through the years and to be able to go thank the people for supporting us. It'll be an emotional time for the Oak Ridge Boys because uh, we've all sang together, like you say, for 50 years now. And, uh, and some of us, you know, we're getting, uh, we're not young kids on the block anymore, but <laughs> we're just fortunate that our career has maintained uh, to the stature that it has for over all these years and that we've been able to get out and do 150 concert dates a year up until now. And uh, I think we're only looking at maybe doing half that many next year. Well, I know that the fans can absolutely feel your love. I know that you thank them for everything, their hard-earned money, coming to see your shows, and buying T-shirts. I told you I want a T-shirt myself. Okay. Now, what are you most excited about for this Christmas show? Well, uh, like I said, it's been 34 years we've been doing Christmas shows, and each one, you know, we continue to try to make it better. This year, we're, uh, we have the fireplace setting and it's a, like a living room or a, a, a den setting there that uh, we're in with a fireplace behind us and the band's down on the floor. Uh, it's not like a regular concert stage setting, but it's more of a, a relaxed, uh, like a living room setting and we get to talk to the people at different times and, uh, and sing our favorite songs, you know, each guy will get a chance. There's a segment where we actually sit down on, we used to sit in rocking chairs and each guy talked to the people. We'd sing three or four songs from the rocking chairs of going back to our childhood and uh, each guy gets to choose a song that he would sing in that segment. Then the rest of us would join and harmonize on the choruses. So uh, that will be uh, in the show this year, but far as uh, in front of the fireplace scene and We'll sit for three or four songs and uh, sing and talk to the people. Each guy gets get to talk to uh, the crowd there. And the most noteworthy guest, the big man in red. <laughs> he, will, he will definitely be there. We, we, we have a great Santa Claus. He actually goes down into the audience, oh. interacts with the kids. And it's a great part of our show. You know, it's a great family show. We encourage families, come on out spend some time together with the Oak Ridge Boys around the Christmas time, December the 12th at the Ryman. Yes. Oh, it is going to be awesome. Thank you guys, we love you so much. Check out the schedule for American Made, the Oak Ridge Boys farewell tour. It is going to be incredible. Just visit oakridgeboys.com.